Now, let's look at method 2. How can we expand a plus b to the power of n by using binomial expansion? For large values of n, we use the general formula for binomial coefficient NCR involving factorial notation. You can write NR as NCR which is equals to N factorial over R factorial multiplied by N minus R factorial. General expansion for A plus B power N for any positive integer N is given as follows. As you can see, each term contains three brackets. P1 is NC0 A power N B power 0. Second term, T2, NC1 A power N minus 1 B power 1. T3, NC2 A power N minus 2 B squared. And if you want to find TR plus 1 term, it is equals to NCR A power N minus R B power R. Please note that when you expand A plus B to the power of N, you will get N plus 1 terms. Example 6, by using binomial expansion, expand 1 minus 2X to the power of 4. First, list down your A equals to 1, B equals to negative 2X, n equals to 4. Since our n equals to 4, when we expand, we will get 5 terms. Now, let's expand. So, 1 minus 2x to the power of 4 equals to, and remember, the expansion for the power of n equals to 4 will get 5 terms. And each term contain three brackets so this is first term plus second term plus third term plus fourth term plus fifth term fill in the first bracket for every term with four zero for one four two 4, 3, and 4, 4. Second bracket, fill in with A, which is equals to 1. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 1 to the power of 4 minus 0, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. 4 minus 2, 2. 4 minus 3, 1. 4 minus 4, 0. Fill in the third bracket with B which is equal to negative 2x. So negative 2x, negative 2x, negative 2x for the third term, negative 2x for the fourth term, negative 2x for the fifth term. And then negative 2x contain power. So how can we write the power? So in order to write the power, you just 4 minus 4 equals to 0. So this is the power of 0. Next, second term, 4 minus 3 equals to 1. So, to the power of 1. Third term, 4 minus 2 equals to 2. Fourth term, 4 minus 1 equals to 3. And for the fifth term, 4 minus 0 equals to 4. Now, take out your calculator and calculate each term correctly. So, let's start with the first term. So, 4C0 multiply by 1 power 4 multiply by negative 2 power 0 multiply by x to the power of 0. The answer is positive 1. Plus, the second term, 4C1 multiply by 1 cube multiply by negative 2 power 1 multiply by x to the power of 1. And the answer is negative 8x. Third term, 
4 C2 multiplied by 1 squared multiplied by negative 2 squared multiplied by x squared. And the answer is positive 24. So positive 24 x squared. The fourth term, 4 C3 multiplied by 1 power 1 multiplied by negative 2 cubed multiplied by x cubed. And the answer is negative 32 x to the power of Q. And for the fifth term, 4 C4 multiplied by 1 to the power 0 multiplied by negative 2 power 4 multiplied by x to the power of 4. And the answer is positive 16 x to the power of 4. So this is the expansion when you expand 1 minus 2x to the power of 4. And when we check, it must contain 5 terms. So first term, second terms, third terms, fourth terms, and fifth terms. Definition of n factorial. This is the notation for n factorial. If n is a positive integer, then n factorial is given by n multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, multiplied by n minus 3 until multiplied by 1. Now, let's look at example 7. A. Try to evaluate 5 factorial without using calculator. So, 5 factorial is actually equal to 5 multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1. So, 20 multiplied by 6 is equal to 120. Next, B. 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial. In order to evaluate 10 factorial over 7 factorial without using calculator, you can write 10 factorial as 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 factorial over 7 factorial. Why we just stop at 7 factorial? Because the denominator also contain 7 factorial so that we can cancel out this to 7 factorials. Okay, now simplify. This is equals to 10 multiplied by 72 is equals to 7 to 0. Example 8, try to evaluate A, 5, 2. So 5, 2 also equals to 5, C, 2. And then by using binomial coefficient, this is equal to 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. And then simplify, you will get 10. B, you need to show that nc2 equals to n multiplied by n minus 1 over 2. Let's start with left hand side because it is easier compared to right hand side. So, left hand side equals to n2, which is also equals to nc2, equals to n factorial over n minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Then, when we compare n factorial with n minus 2 factorial, we notice that n factorial is bigger than n minus 2 factorial. Therefore, we can write n factorial as n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 factorial over n minus 2 factorial 2 factorial. Next, we can cancel out n minus 2 factorial. Therefore, this is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 over 2 factorial is 2 multiplied by 1. So, equals to so, equals to right hand side. Shun. 